Hi everyone, it's Agatha from Simply Grow and today I've got another activity idea for you. Those who are regular to Simply Sensory well know it, uh, but even if you are um, familiar with the activity, I've got a little twist um, to introduce today. So the activity, the prop that you will need to prepare is called, what I like to call it, a spider web box. And it's pl pretty self-explanatory why it's called a spider web box because you can see there's a little spider web on it so basically the idea is that you've got a little basket and then you weave through a bit of yarn and then your baby is going to reach through the holes that you have created to get the objects from inside the basket now few points to remember and um, the younger the child the bigger and fewer the holes Okay, so if your baby is a newborn, one piece of string across with two big holes is absolutely enough as they won't be able to reach and grasp it yet, but they will be able to see it, especially if you use a black basket and a wide string or even a wide piece of fabric across to make a nice contrasting uh, pattern for them. And then you can put something noisy inside. And as you shake it, your baby will be able to see it. You can also see the light through it. So if you put close enough to your baby's face and maybe shine a little torch through it, they'll be able to see the light. So that's a lovely um, adaptation of the activity for babies three months and younger. For older children, simply adapt it. You will know after the first time you play with it if your holes are big enough or uh, too small, too big, you will, you will know it. So basically the idea is for the baby to figure out that they have to put your, their hand through it. Um, this one is a bit more intricate I've got over here. Um, I recommend those little baskets. I've seen different uh, versions of this activity online. So some people use big um, laundry uh, basins and then put um, something elastic over it. 100% works, but from experience, those small boxes I think pharmacists often use them for dispensing um, medicines, uh, but you can get them in any pound shop in any bigger supermarket in the home section. Um, they are really good because you can really weave um, your yarn through the holes and make the pattern um, as intricate or as simple as you want it to be. And I really recommend using yarn as well. I used different materials in the past, used ribbon, different things, but the yarn actually works the best as it's nice and soft. Um, and you can make it really tight. This can actually loosen up a bit, so I'll probably make it a bit tighter um, to make it easier. The tighter is the easier it's going to be for your baby to put their hand through it. Um, so now inside you put different interesting objects for your baby to reach to. The younger the child, the fewer the objects. So again, this one's going to be probably around um, six, seven months with um, more objects inside. And this is one of those activities that um, are perfect for parents and carers who really like jumping in and helping their little ones with everything. Because with this activity, you mustn't, okay? This one is really for your little one to practice that independence, perseverance. The key for that is for your child to, to try for long enough until they get the object. If they get frustrated, don't do it for them but simply make the hole a little bit bigger. So scaffold it for them, okay? So make it a little bit easier, but don't do it for them. I know as parents and carers, we often just itch to jump in and do it for our little ones, especially when we see them struggling. It's a natural instinct, it's the nurturing instinct in us, but actually we're not doing our little ones any favors by doing things for them. We don't encourage independence, they're not learning anything, and there's no satisfaction in it um, if someone does things for us. We don't learn anything through it. And babies love learning. So what we do, we just scaffold it for them, make the openings bigger. And if you really see your child getting frustrated, simply help them, show them how to do it. Uh, but really, don't, don't jump in straight away. Babies are really clever. I've seen so many babies trying to figure it out and they simply tip it upside down and try to shake the contents out your baby is going to absolutely surprise you with their problem solving dexterity and try to think outside the box and um, nice um variation of the activity and um, especially when you're just starting off with the spider web box and uh, to really get the interest but also fantastic i'm going to tell you the benefits in a second um put a few scarves inside and encourage the little one simply pulling through 
to get the scarf out so it's a little um, more scaffolded a little less tricky version of the activity um, just to start you off also great for younger children uh, who can't really hand eye coordinate uh, their movements yet as well um, so when it comes to benefits, what do we practice here? We practice um, reaching and grasping, we practice hand-eye coordination, fine motor skills, but also, as I mentioned before, that perseverance, determination, ability to stay on task for longer. So the more you do activities like that, and the more you extend that period of time that your baby can focus on and concentrate. Another key to this activity is you being there with your baby, especially to start with. The longer you stay with them and you concentrate with them without doing much, but they have your attention and you not frustrating um, over it, the better. Okay, so the more you invest that time with your baby on the activity, the bigger the gains and results and the benefits from it. Okay, so I um, hope you, you found it um, interesting. Definitely make one of these for your little ones. If you don't have one of these baskets, definitely do something else and you can um, weave through, like move things over um, with a string or um, ribbon if you've got ribbon. Just use whatever you've got to start you off. But then if you are in the shop and you do see yarn or you do see a basket like that i would really recommend investing in that it's going to be much cheaper than buying expensive sensory toys 100 percent and you're going to have lots of satisfaction with making your toy the toy yourself and and seeing your little one playing with it it's also a fantastic activity because as you carry on using it you will see your baby progressing which is fantastic so you will start off by um making the holes really big and scarce and then move on to the holes being more narrow to the pattern being more intricate and you will really see your baby progress with this activity so i hope you enjoyed it and can't wait to see your spider web boxes you can make one tonight if you're watching it in the evening and have it ready for tomorrow or just make it anytime and i'm sure your baby is going to love it have fun